Hi everybody, it's Mrs. Ross and William. And we are here today to teach you a math game. So we've got some playing cards out again. I am going to insert a picture here of what it looks like. So this is called Make 50, but it's another one of those really flexible math games. So you could make 20, you could make 10, you could make 100. So once you pick the number that you're getting to, um, your job is to take the number of cards that you want to use. So we're using five in this case, and we're going to check to see using all of the operations as well as brackets if we can actually make 50 with the cards that are picked out. So uh, we both have a piece of scrap paper here where we can write some things yes. down on. So um, we are able to, we're gonna take some time, and then when we're done, when we've both decided we have tried all the choices that we can get to, um, each person gets a point for the number of solutions that they found. So. Um, when we're done, we both have to agree that the solution works. That's a good way to double check it. Yes. And then the people get their points and then you can put those cards away and you can do another round. Yeah. So you can keep going basically as long as you want to. Okay, so our cards are 2, 8, 9, 1, and 6. So we're going to take a few minutes and see what we come up with and then we're going to come back and share our solutions with you. Okay, so we've taken some time, we've done some figuring out. So William has come up with a solution. I have come up with lots of trials and no solutions. So he's gonna read us his solution and I'm gonna double check to see that he agrees. So William, what was your idea? Okay, so it is nine plus one. Nine's right there, one's right there. So I have them, I'll take them out just because. Perfect. Why not? Okay. And then it equals 10, yeah. and then you do 10 times 6, so I'll take that 6 out, that's 60, okay. and you do 2 plus 8, that, which is 10. 10, take away the 10 from the 60 is 50. Perfect, fantastic. So William would get the point for that one, and then we would take 5 more cards off the top, and we'd go again until we were done, until we wanted to be done playing. Mm -hmm. So, um, that's a, it's a good game to remember order of operations. So if you remember bed mass, right? Brackets, exponents, division, multiplication, addition and subtraction. So you have to remember that order if you want to throw those things into an equation. Um, and it's just good practice of all of the operations that we use on a daily basis. So thanks for watching today <laughs> and uh, we will talk to you soon.